Hey everybody, it's Mike here from SearchScientists.com and today we're going to be covering AdWords, how to add a user, and then of course how to add an account manager. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm inside AdWords and I'm going to click the gear in the top right, Account Settings. Now when I do this, it'll bring up a separate pane on the left side of the screen and I want to go ahead and click Account Access. Once I'm there, I see an option to, of course, add users. So I'll go ahead and click that. Then I can type in the email address of anyone with an email address that does not currently have an AdWords account. Again, if someone already has an AdWords account, they can't be added as a user to another one. So it's only one account per Google account. So if you already have a Google account with an AdWords account, they cannot be added to another account because then they would have two AdWords accounts and you can only have one. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this email. We're going to see what that process looks like. Okay, so I've punched in my email address and I'm going to be adding as a user, gave them a name, and then I see four options for account access level. I'm going to start with the most restrictive, email only access. In this setting, they'll only be able to receive emails from the account, like scheduled reports. The next one is read-only access. This is where they can browse around the account and view the keywords and the campaigns, but they can't make any changes. The next is going to be standard access, and the differences between standard access and administrative access are the admin can make admin level changes like billing, uh, whereas standard access can only make changes to the campaigns. So admin can do everything below, standard can do everything below, read only can do everything below, and email can only do email. So I hope that helps with determining what access level to add as a user. If you are a business and you're adding an employee, typically you'd want to add a standard access so they can make changes to the account, but they don't have access to the billing information. I hope this helps. Now once you go ahead and hit send on this invitation, you'll just follow the instructions in the prompts that, that follow. The person you're inviting will get an email. They need to click on that email and create their AdWords account. Once, once they do, you will get a notification and you'll basically just approve their new user account. That's all there is to it. We've just added a user to an AdWords account. Now let's take a look at adding an account manager to an account. So to give someone manager account access, this might be a contractor you're working with or a new paid search company that you're working with, or you're working with us search scientists. The very, very simple thing that you do is just log into your account as I have. Look in the top right and look for that 10 digit customer ID. In this case, here's my customer ID 2250995920. I'll take that number and I'll send it to whoever I'm working with. Um, this person will then up request access and then I'll simply follow the prompts that show up in my email to complete this process. So again, it's relatively simple, but it's a different process for AdWords as it is in Google Analytics and hopefully this video makes it a little bit easier for you. Have a good one.